Hello everyone, welcome back to my backyard snack yard. The sun has come out and I just wanted to share some of my beautiful joys with you and have a look at some of the flowers I've grown from seed. Very often the ones I really love are biennials. So you have to sow them one year and then wait a year at least and then they start flowering. One of these is the foxgloves here. I sowed them all last year and overwintered them in little pots and then they're blooming now beautifully. So stunning. They like shaded spots. They're woodland plants. They're actually woodland wildflowers and so in our local woods we do see them very frequently. So they just do really well in more shaded spots which is perfect for my garden. They're such joys though. And also they're very slug resistant. So whereas other plants that I try to grow from seeds such as lupins down here, one of my rare lupins is actually growing. It hasn't flowered yet. I also sowed it from seed last year, but they get really eaten and munched by all kinds of slugs and snails, whereas the foxgloves are usually untouched. And they're so delightful. I've got a few sunflowers here which are growing slowly but surely some flowers down there. I also have some other herbs I've grown from seed. This is some dill. I think they have beautiful flowers and I love just adding herbs everywhere. I've got a few poppies coming up. This one was kind of heavy on the top. So it's got a little stake there. If we go a bit further down, here we got some daisies. They're just about to burst into bloom. These ones are really, really frizzy. They're amazing. I had seen them as flowers just growing along the side of the road, and one day there was one that was dead and so I deadheaded one of them. I picked one of the flowers off and, um, and planted it. The seeds were still green so I wasn't quite sure if they were going to be viable but we got some flowers from it. Some little plants shot up eventually and I overwintered them and eventually I planted it here. This is a few years ago now and so the one of the ones that turned out to be frizzy like its parent is here and it's just spread because usually I think these kind, they do best if you divide them from, um, from roots, from the root ball, you just divide them that way. But this one obviously came true to seed. Other ones didn't, so I do have other ones elsewhere which are just big daisies, but not frizzy like this. And I love this look. I'll show you how they look when they are fully open. They're such fun. Another plant we have right in this area here is there's really tall yellow spikes. They are verbascum. The reason I have them is because I had seen them as big white ones. They were tall and white and they had this beautiful purple centers and I thought, oh, how delightful. So I found some seeds online, bought them, planted them. Well, I sowed the seeds and then the little plants came up and again, they are biennial. It's really what I go for every time apparently. And um, so I overwintered them, nurtured them, planted them, and when they flowered, they were yellow. So not what I ordered, not what I wanted, but I really do love them. I think they're so delightful, so sunny, and they actually match really well with all this hardy geranium. There's a sea of hardy geranium that sort of bob along the tops. So cute. They come everywhere, the hardy geraniums. You can see now they're seeding. They've gone to seed. So they will self-seed everywhere, throwing volunteers out all over the shop. But I just thought it would be really, really fun to show you that. Just a few of the plants I'm really enjoying growing from seed. And in another part of the garden, we have these two hollyhocks. There's actually a third one coming over there. And I don't know, I mean, I, I can't quite remember planting these, but again, I would have sowed them and then planted them last year. So that's why I probably have forgotten about them. And so I first thought they were volunteers when they started coming up, but they're looking beautiful. They're such tall plants. Do really, really well in the back of the garden. So, 
really happy to have them there. I love the contrast of the big frilly white flowers. Let me just show you how the whole thing looks. Isn't that beautiful? Delightful. So, just a few of the ones I really enjoy growing from seed. Let me know what you prefer to grow from seed, what you think is best to grow from seed, what you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. I just wanted to add a quick little update as all the daisies are starting to burst into bloom in the beautiful summer sunshine. This particular cultivar is actually known as Crazy Daisy for obvious reasons, I guess. I so love them.